everyone welcome to rakesh valsa youtube channel in this video i will give you a quick demonstration on flash print software this software is very helpful to convert stl file to g code for 3d printing here i am using flash print software this software is suitable for uh, 15 types of 3d printers here we are using a flash forge dreamer machine uh, in the description i have pro i have provided uh, this flash print software link you can go through that link you can install the software in your pc after uh, completion of this installation you can Identify the flash print desktop icon. Just you can double click on this icon. You can get this window. Here, uh, uh, top uh, it's showing three different options. The top side and the left side also having few options. Let us see the first option: load. Uh, load into one or multiple files by using load option. You can import uh, STL file to 3D printing software. Next one is supports. Uh, enter supporting uh, editing mode. Here, left side uh, having one option that view. View models from one of the six viewing angles. Already you know the different views like uh, front view, top view, side view. So with the help of this view option, you can see the different views, viewing angles. Next one is move. This option. Uh, this uh, option is helpful to uh, move model around an xy plane the next one is rotate turn and rotate your model next one is scale scale the size of your model that means you can increase the size or decrease the size of the model the next one is cut with the help of this model you can slicing or you can uh, you can cut that model next one is extrude this option is uh, here uh, the, here this machine having two different types of mode that is left extruder or right and right extruder if you are adding material uh, wire bundle to left side you can choose left extruder otherwise you can choose right extruder uh, let us see uh, for example, I am loading uh, one uh, STL file into this software. Just you can choose load. Uh, I am going to choose uh, this uh, this figure 20.52 STL file into this uh, this software. Uh, this model is of the platform. Do you want to put it on the platform? Yes. So this object uh, placed on this base. The next one is move option. Uh, you can see here with the help of move option, you can move the object in a, with respect to x direction, y direction, z direction. I am selecting uh, on platform. So uh, this object is move. Uh, this move this object position move to on the bed. That is x0, y0, z0. That means origin point. And I also am se selecting center. So the object is printed uh, on the center of this bed next close this option the next one is rotate uh, this is uh, option is uh, depending upon your requirement uh, if, if you want to rotate this object uh, for example i am rotating with respect to this one you can move with respect to x direction or with respect to y direction uh, this is x in the previous one that is uh, green means y this blue color means Z. If, if the rotation is not required, just you can close this option. Control Z. Uh, again, go to the rotate. Uh, here I am choosing surface. Uh, this object is surface to platform. Then close. Next one is scale. With the help of scale, you can increase or decrease the size of the that model. Here, 
uh, the default uh, scaling is 100 the x length is 40 mm y is uh, 92 mm z is 80 mm uh, these are the dimensions for the for the Im imported object if you want to decrease that size you can change this value for example i am going to select uh, 50 uh, here i have selected uniform scaling you can click on uh, y automatically x y z all three parameters are uh, uniformly reduced that is uh, that is depending upon your requirement otherwise you can directly take 100 percentage then close uh, next one is extrude this is very very important here uh, just you can select this object next here it's showing two different types of extruder use right extruder and uh, use left extruder if your material that is uh, wire material is uh, place it to the left side you can choose use left extruder otherwise you can choose right extruder if you are using left nozzle you can choose uh, left extruder if you are uh, using uh, right uh, uh, nozzle you can choose right extruder then close the next one is support this is very very important uh, here i am choosing auto supports you can see here supports structures uh, generation finished here uh, here the bottom surface is parallel to this bed so uh, the number of supports are reduced only the supports are added to this only curved shape this top curved shape and this uh, bottom side curved shape uh, next uh, go to the back Uh, the next one is uh, uh, the last option is uh, now the settings are completed go to the print option uh, here machine type here machine is flash forge dreamer uh, we, here we are using flash forge dreamer that is the default setting material type if you are using uh, abs you can choose uh, abs for example i am choosing abs when you are choosing abs material the properties are uh, properties also changed for example temperature uh, right extruded temperature 220 degrees platform 105 degrees infill fill density 15 percentage fill pattern exit these are the def uh, default settings if you if you want to change you can select line hexagon triangle 3d infill uh, speed Print speed 60 millimeter per second, travel speed 80 millimeter per second. Uh, for example, if you are choosing PLA, uh, ABS means acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. Here, uh, PLA means polylactic acid. Uh, here, uh, when you are choosing PLA, the PLA properties also changed. That is temperature, right extruder. 200 degrees 50 degrees uh, speed 60 millimeter per second 80 millimeter per second cancel uh, after completion of setting then you can click ok uh, here one more option is there a raft or brim suggested for fixing tree like supports onto the plate would you like to add a raft or beam uh, this is a very useful to uh, for supporting a tree like so you can choose add wrap uh, just you can see here after adding wrap one layer is uh, added to bottom of this object okay you can see here uh, estimated print time is 39 minutes estimated material right that is uh, required uh, material length is 2.99 meters uh, here two options are there uh, you can see here slice information machine type flash forge dreamer material right PLA layer height 0.18 mm uh, perimeter shells 2 fill density 15 percentage fill pattern hexagon 
print speed 60 mm per second, travel speed 80 mm per second, right extrude 200 degree centigrade, platform 50 degree centigrade. You can also see a weight estimation. The estimated weight is 8.93 grams. Material density 1.24 gram per centimeter cube. Uh, here, uh, export G code. Export G code means you can save G code file in the system and you can uh, uh, you can save this G code file in the memory card then you can imp you can insert that memory card in, into the machine otherwise uh, that 3D printer cable connected connect to CPU then click send G code uh, after connecting 3D printer, just you can click connect. Here, 3D printer is not connected to this this PC, so no, it's showing no machine available. Uh, otherwise, you can export G code into your PC. That is figure number 2052.gx. Save. Then you can copy that G code file into the memory card. Then you can insert G that memory card into the uh, 3D 3D printer machine. J then you can start your 3D printer printing. You can also see here in the left side showing uh, two 26 layers. You can see the simulation. Mm -hmm. This is the first layer, second, third, up to uh, generating two 26 la layers. You can see the simulation here also. This is the uh, way to printing by using 3D printer. Uh, it takes 49 minutes for come uh, finishing this product uh, this is the uh, this is the procedure to uh, convert stl file to g code and you can take print from 3d printing machine I hope this is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.